What's up, YouTube Underworld 6667? Thank you guys very much for uh, clicking on this video. Uh, I do hope you enjoy these deck profiles that I'm going to be posting up. As always, if you're a new viewer to this channel, make sure you go check out Collection Wars, Yu-Gi-Oh! 101, tons of binder blunders, all those kind of things that are on the actual channel. We've got a ton of deck profiles uh, coming up on this channel very shortly. Um, I do want to give a couple shout-outs uh, right off the bat because we did these deck profiles together. Of course, Jarrell Pro Winston, we did a lot with him. Uh, he's been doing these deck profiles as well, so if you want to get another view, he got a couple that uh, I didn't get, He got, or I got some of the things that he didn't get, so make sure that you check out his channel. Of course, Team Shockwave, uh, he stood in the background for a while and uh, took some uh, videos as well. Dark World Mofo, uh, new and upcoming Yugi tuber. He's hitting about uh, 2,500 plus subs already. And of course, Leo Duck 6. Now, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to have the. Uh, links to their channels in the description. I'm going to have a future video with all the links and that kind of thing, but if you want to check them out, make sure that you check them out uh, by just searching their name in YouTube. Um, I'm sure they'll comment in the comment section down below, all that kind of stuff, but in future videos you will get to see that. So make sure that you subscribe to Underworld 6667. Enjoy these deck profiles, guys. It took me a while to get, but I'm glad I got them for you. What's good, YouTube Underworld 6667 here with Dark World Mofo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Pro Winston. Team Shockwave. Yo, Duck 6. And we are here with? Uh, Mad Vision. And you just got what place? Uh, I came top 32. And with what that? Uh, Mermails. All right, cool. Let's get it started. Sure. All right, so it's three Atlantean Marksmen, three Atlantean Dragoons, three Atlantean, or er, Mermail Abyss Plague, uh, three Mermail Abyss Land, three... You just like to use everything. Yeah, absolutely. Oh uh, three God. Abyss Tears. Three Megalo, three Infantry. I just don't think three he likes writing deck lists. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Two Abyss Guns, uh, one Abyss Surge, Why one Abyss Lead. Why the Surge? Uh, surge is actually really, really powerful. Like, you can recycle with this card, or a lot of people don't know this, but the way it was ruled this week, I don't know if it's right, but um, you could select the Infantry as a target, and then get it right, and then, back. And, yeah. and get it right back, and get the Infantry effect. Um, that is true because Anna did true. it to me in my yeah. and, round one. And if it's like against, a, and if it's against like an abyss dweller, then um, they ruled that infantry activates in the hand and resolves in the hand. So abyss dweller does nothing to it. So it, it, abyss surge is just really, really good. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, three mystical space typhoon. Uh, two enemy controller. Uh, dark hole, reborn, heavy storm, pot. I want to be Three sphere, two torrential. Right. Um, my side deck was two Vanity Fiends, really strong like versus the Mirror. Fiends, don't you? Yeah, I do too. Um, two uh, Tragodia, uh, two Maxi, three Snowman Eater, three Soul Taker, and three Dust Tornado. I thought those was the bugs for a minute. Nah. <laughs> fuck why, uh, why, why did you max out on the Soul Takers? Uh, Soul Takers, I don't know, like, it's. I didn't. I didn't know if it, I was going to side it in against Evil Swarms. I didn't end up siding it in. Um, but I, it, it's really good against um, like Fire Fists because you can um, t take out their guys and like stop them from exceeding stuff like that. Just take it. Take out stuff that's sitting there on the board giving you a problem. Um, as well, you can. It, it's really good against Dino Rabbit as well. So, yeah. Um, and then my extra was two Abyss Guys, two Big Eye. Uh, a bit a Abyss Dweller, a Bahamut Shark, Abyss Strike, uh, Zen Mains, Tem Tempo, uh, Asset Golem, and Gachi Gachi, and Black Rose, Deloren, Cataster, Armour. Tell us about a little bit about the event. Anything special happening yeah. other than that fucking tech cards? Yeah, and not really. Like, I mean, round. It was round four. I played against Infernity. Um, I beat Infernity, and he ended up topping as well. And then round five, I lost to the Mirror. And then round seven, I lost to Evil Swarm. Um, and he wasn't very good. He topped actually, but I didn't think he was very. So good. you finished the day X two. Um, For day yeah, one. Yeah, I finished day one X two, and then I, I went to oh yeah exactly. Um, ten and eleven, I played against uh, Mermill and Evil Swarm. Um, Evil Swarm is actually really, really easy to beat with this deck as long as you can draw like some kind of side deck out, um, and you side deck like nine cards, like you side deck like six cards versus it. like you side deck these two, 
and you saw like the snowmans. And I mean, it already mains three infantry, so I right. mean, you should be you should have a lot of outs to it. It's this card is really good against it. You can you can go Bahamut Shark against it, and like it. it, it Rapes Ophion. Um, I, I leave the torrentials in. Some people say like they take them out, but like if you happen to get double torrential, then you can chain your torrentials together. That happened to me in my round ten match. Um, he he had macro, and I had uh, infantry, and I needed to get this guy active, and I had another infantry in hand. So I set this at this dust, and then uh, he declared an attack. I dusted the macro. Um, he said that was fine. Um, I ran over my infantry, and then in main phase two, he summoned, went Ophion, I went Torrential, he goes uh, Dress, and then I go Torrential, and then he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, well, um, thank you for the pro. Okay, go ahead. Now, we do have a new format coming up, and you're looking at some dragons. What are your thoughts on this dragon uh, clusterfuck? Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be playing dragons at Nationals. Um, <laughs> like 90% right now because that deck just looks retarded. Um, it, it's basically like the way it, it, I was talking to Frazier and uh, Fra Frazier basically told me that he thought it was like Teledad and Lightsworn and that was basically how I was thinking of it in my head as well. Like Teledad is like dragons and then Lightsworn is prophecy and like it's very similar because I think you have more or less a two deck format. So I think that's it, like dragons are going to be the deck to be for sure. Now you can say thank you, stupid. All right, cool. Well, congratulations on your top 32. Thank you for the deck profile. Dark Room Muffle out. Peace, guys. No Peace. See you guys. Thanks,